meal, we're going for more of an upscale dining experience. We were having lunch at a place called La Rosa Nautica, which means the nautical rose. And it's a really cool restaurant out on the water. There's this pier built over the ocean and it just leads you all the way to this little restaurant. So you're like surrounded by waves, there's surfers, birds. Perfect setting and the food here is really good. Been here once before many, many years ago. So I'm excited to come back with more mature taste buds. So our food has arrived and we went all out. We got a little bit of everything. So I'm having the starter tasting menu over here, which comes with three different types of ceviche, which I love. And Sam is having the grand tasting menu and his appetizers have also arrived and they're looking pretty fancy. First up, this one is espigón, and this one is flounder. It's made with flounder. Is it a ceviche? It is a ceviche, yes. And let's just dip it in the sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It's some of the best ceviche I've ever had. The fish just, it's so, so tender. And the sauce, it has a really strong kick of lime, like, there's nothing subtle about it. Mm, it's good. Moving on to the next. Have a look here. This one is called Colorado. And it has also flounder, shrimp, and a little bit of squid. And it also has the, the yellow corn. The choclo. The choclo. Let's grab some choclo. I'm expecting this to be spicy. It already has a lot of sauce, so I won't be adding any more. Oh yeah. Mm. I always expect squid to be a little bit chewy, but this is great. Made to perfection. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. And we've got one more, the last one. This one has flounder, octopus, and a cilantro sauce. And it has the canchita that we tend to find in lots oh, of places. That we, that we love that. Yeah, that makes an appearance that at salty most tables. corn. Yeah. Mm. It's a nice mix of soft and crunch. And the sauce is refreshing. A really nice ceviche. All right, Sam, so let's have a look at your please. Oh, exciting time. So I've got a, a three portion appetizer sampler mm -hmm. as well. What are you starting with? And we're going to start off with the gausa, the gausa. yellow mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And this comes with a tuna tartare and a smoked, with smoked chili peppers and avocado. So I love tuna tartare, so I'm going to be trying some of that later. I bet it's magic. Magic in the mouth. Like those are three really amazing things all at once. I love gausa, the potatoes. Then you add that nicely sliced avocado and then the tartare. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, let's move on. To okay, this moving next on. Room. This is the classic ceviche. Yeah. So yeah, this is what we love to eat here in Peru and especially Lima. The one meal that we probably have more than any any other is ceviche. So I feel like we have it every other day. When we're in Peru, it's just ceviche, ceviche, more ceviche. That's the most tender ceviche I've ever had. Yeah, isn't it? I don't know what they do to make it this tender, but it's just amazing. You don't even really have to chew it. Yeah, it's got and a special the, the, touch. The sauce is just, oh wow. Oh, and then, wow. okay, moving on to the last one here. Okay. This is the octopus salad. Ooh. And it also comes with toasted yuca, which is, is a pretty unique thing. It's kind of like a root. Yeah, a root it's kind potato. of like a root, similar to a potato. And it also comes with olive sauce. Ooh, we're reading the menu so over there. <laughs> kind of cheating a bit. <laughs> kind of cheating a little bit here. So the next course has arrived and now I'm going to be sampling three different types of gausa. So gausa is a type of dish that's made with yellow mashed potato and it's usually served kind of like a shepherd's pie but this is a bit fancier so we have 
nice little swirls of yellow potato. And I'm having three different types. The one you see over here with the shrimp is called arequipeña. Um, and it has a nice ocopa, creamy sauce. And then if we move over to the middle, this one is made with oliveto. So it's octopus and olive sauce. And at the very end, you have one with tuna and a chili pepper cream. Wow. So, so which one do you start with? Let's start with tuna. I tried Sam's tuna. You seem to tuna. be a big fan of tuna these days. Yeah. Oh, wow. It looks like the tartare, look too. Oh, magic. Look at that. Getting it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. There may not be any leftover for you. This fish, it just melts in your mouth. It's so good. Mm. Okay, shall we move on to the next one? Yes. So this is our octopus here. Let's see. You know, I've become a pretty big fan of octopus ever since we've been in Lima. They really know how to prepare it well. You didn't like it so much in Korea. No, <laughs> but here, totally different story. So yeah, that's good. And you really taste the olive oil. They've used it so smooth, like it leaves a nice little aftertaste. And this. Last but not least. How shall I do this? Just bite it off? Yeah, just dunk it in and bite it off. Okay, let's get the shrimp. That's fresh. It tastes like the ocean. So which of the three did you mm. like the most? The tuna? Probably tuna. I just love tuna. I can't get enough of it. Mm. So what is next on the menu? And the last of your sampler portion has arrived. These mm -hmm. are the carpaccios. So okay. let's just take a look down at those. So over here, we have got salmon and with green onions, a vinaigrette with a quail egg. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty fancy. fancy. Over here, tuna and a mustard sauce with also soy sauce and sesame seeds. That you can see good. the sesame seeds there. And finally, we've got flounder with basil oil and black salt. Ooh. So. Salmon is pretty much my favorite fish, so I think I'm going to try that one last. So we will start off with the flounder. Sam always leaves the best for last. Yep, yeah, that is my way of doing things when I eat. <laughs> mm, that's that's uh, sour. And it tastes actually, it tastes quite similar to <coughs> ceviche. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah, it's the same fish they use for our ceviche today. Well, that, there you go. There you go. That there answers the question. There you go. Okay, on to the tuna. And what I want to make sure is I get lots of the sesame sauce and sesame seeds. What you want to make sure is that you leave some for me. Oh. <laughs> That's the best thing I've tried here so far. Like, it's just a combination of that amazing tuna and then you have this tangy sesame sauce which is really rich and creamy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah he says. Alright. And now last, your favorite. Last but not least, let's move on to the salmon. Grew up eating a lot of salmon on Vancouver Island where I'm from in Canada. So this will be familiar and tasty. That is fresh, that is tender, and that is just, that's just very high quality salmon. I love this. So the food just keeps on coming. This is Sam's main, and again, it's a sampler with three different dishes. So have a look down here. First up, we are having lomo saltado, which is one of the, the national dishes, I guess you could say. Um, so it's kind of like a fried beef with onions, tomato, and there's yellow potato french fries underneath. Then we are moving over to the shrimp with taku taku. No, that is and a big shrimp. Yeah, it's massive. Like a prawn. And the taku taku is basically rice and fried beans. And last but not least, we've got the catch of the day, a pan fried white fish with some potatoes and a creamy sauce. So yeah, lots of food. So you're going with the lomo saltado first. Lomo saltado, so we got a little piece of meat. 
Maybe let's grab a potato. <gasps> oh my gosh, I spilled. I spilled, don't let them see. I couldn't get the potato. Let's just go for the beef. Mm. Wow. You know what? That sauce, it almost has a bit of a Chinese influence. It's really interesting. I don't think I've ever tried Lomo Saltado in Peru before. This may be my first. And my yellow potato fry. Mm. Good stuff. Now let's clean up my mess before they come. There we go. All clear. Okay, moving on. Mm. I'm just gonna cut off a piece so you get some as well. Please, so. that's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Bit of shrimp, rice and beans. Whoa, it's amazing. Mm. It's nice. It almost tastes a little bit Mexican. The refried beans and rice. It's good. Good combo. And I'm gonna move on to the fish. She's excited about the fish. I sure am. Let's get a bit of sauce. I'm not sure what the sauce is. Let's mm -hmm. see on the menu. A leek sauce. That's what it is. Leek. There we go. Mm. It's so creamy and smooth. That's good. I think we're gonna remember this meal, huh? Forever and ever. Forever and ever. So I'm getting pretty sad over here because it's almost time to wrap up this meal. I know. We're already full, but dessert has arrived and we will be making room for it because Ooh, yes. everything at this restaurant has just been incredible so far. So let's have a look at dessert. So take a look down here and you're gonna see first that this is a chocolate, crunchy chocolate mousse. This one. Okay. And then yes. over here we have Pont de Ration, which is kind of like, I think, a crispy pancake with vanilla, manhar, and strawberries, so vanilla sauce. And this is the one I'm most interested in trying. This is a chocolate tart with lucuma mousse. And that is like one of my favorite local fruits here in Peru. So we've got a nice spread of desserts. It's time to dig in. Dig in. Which one's first? All right, I'm gonna try, let's go over here first. And we will try the crunchy chocolate mousse with berries, so. I yeah. wonder if that's coconut on top. Ooh, I can, I can definitely feel the crunch at the bottom here. Let's try that. Wow. That mousse is really light and it's really rich. And I have no idea what that crunchy thing, crunchiness at the bottom is. But it's tasty. It tastes a bit like granulated sugar, but I know it's not that. Okay. Time to try that pancake. And I don't have a knife anymore. Oh, it is crunchy. Okay, so that just broke off nicely. Ooh, oh, we someone's can hear happy birthdays in the background. Someone's having a birthday. This is a, a great place for a birthday. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like this, is, this should be both of our birthdays mm. <laughs> in advance. Okay. That's really crunchy when you first bite into it, but then it's light, it disintegrates in your mouth. And the manhar sauce, the vanilla sauce, is just very, very light, and the strawberries kind of just add a nice, like, juicy kick at the end. Mm. And now, on to the one you're most yes. looking forward to. So, as you know by now, I saved my, my favorite one, EDM. And look at all that manhar. Oh. No, that. that's lucuma, isn't oh, it? Oh, sorry, sorry, what am I saying? Lucuma. Lucuma <laughs> filling, but maybe lucuma. that's not had on the, on the plate. Oh. Oh. That's the best. That's the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, the filling is almost like, it's a combination of, of tasting like like that, the actual fruit, and it also tastes like like a creamy butterscotch pudding as well. Oh, that's good. 
Well, hello, Captain. Time to resume my captain duties over here. <laughs> so, was that one of the best meals you've ever had or what? Yeah, that ranks up there really, really highly. I mean, it's certainly the fanciest meal we've ever had in Lima or in Peru, for that matter. And, you know, the price reflected that, though. The price of what I ordered, which included the appetizers, the mains, and the desserts, was 160 soles. And your appetizer portion, which had three different things, it had the gauses, the ceviches, and the other part, that was 80 soles. So in total, it was a 250 sole meal. That's quite a bit. You're looking at, you know, 70, 80 US dollars, but it was so worth it. It's a dining experience we'll never forget.